Hi, hope you're having a great day again. And uh, this is another video, my third video for today. Now, this is very, very important, but very short video, right? Because, right, now we have seen more and more rich people, billionaires, right? And people who are very well known in the investment space are making about turns. They are investing into Bitcoin for the first time. Now, crypto cynic Mark Faber buys Bitcoin, but why? Now, what is so significant about Mark Faber is that he's a billionaire. And he used to, you know, condemn Bitcoin. And now he's actually getting his Bitcoin, yeah? And oh, not only that, he's famous because he has correctly advised people to, you know, get off the stock markets before the 1987 crash, right? And that is why he is, you know, very well respected in this space. And, you know, he is 73 years old and he is also getting his first Bitcoin now, yeah? Let's just quickly look at it. Now, in a recent interview with Cash, Mark Faber, who much like Nouria Rubini, is also known as Dr. Doom, revealed that he bought his first Bitcoin. For those who missed the memo, Faber, first known for his Bomb Doom finance newsletter and his standing as an investor, has long bashed digital assets, like many others, and brought in the traditional asset class. But he bought some. He didn't reveal how many he bought. BTC regardless, just 10 days ago as of the time of the interview, right? He chalked up to his rationale to the fact that Bitcoin looks technically better, likely touching on the fact that the collapse from $20,000 to $3,150 likely wiped out most of the market froth that deterred technical analysts and Marseille. This wasn't the only reason though, Febo now based in Thailand adds that readers of his newsletter asking him about his involvement in cryptocurrency has also enticed him to look into Bitcoin further so he's um, fear of missing out right now also he has a conversation with Zappo CEO Vance Caceres and um, Caceres has told him that Bitcoin could very well go to either zero or one million dollars now accentuating the assets asymmetric value proposition the fact that an industry called insider openly admitted that the flagship cryptocurrency could crumble to dust may have enticed fable in some way shape or form who knows right take note this point yeah another one before i tell you the implication is that korea's biggest actor also invests in crypto and that's a big deal for asian markets so this guy here his name is Bae Yong Jun. He's a very, very well-known, well-liked actor. Acted in films like Winter Sonata and The Legend. Very, very, you know, famous and well-liked Asian films, right? Um, despite a lot of people don't even understand Korean, but because of all these films, they go and learn Korean, right? So you see that much of influence. And he is now investing in a local crypto startup called Simon. Simon is co-founded by the largest a uh, salmon company in Korea called Ocean Supreme and exports sashimi quality salmon from Norway to Japan, generating $150 million in annual turnover purely from salmon sales, right? And the, it is not revealed how much he invested, but it is said that he has invested well invested well over hundred thousand dollars right now this is a very very key thing because you now have very very prominent individuals right um and very rich people very interested into this space so so on the korea front this is very very significant because don't forget because of the significant drop in prices right a lot of people a, a lot of young people actually invested in crypto um before 2017 because they were really really hoping that you know this can make them rich because in korea it is very very hard to get rich through just employment and housing and everything is very very expensive so they're really betting that you know cryptocurrency can give them the ticket to riches faster but because of the you know the, the down the crypto winter a lot of people have actually been um you know out of the market because they are really really burned right so to speak because they've taken a lot of that to invest now then on the other side you have billionaires who used to very very against crypto are now buying their bitcoin and main reason i believe is really because they understand that right it's such a asymmetric bet meaning they just need to invest three thousand dollars today and one day it could very well can go up to one million or they could lose that $3,000. But of course, for someone who is so rich, of course they are willing to risk $3,000, right? And the key is actually this, right? So for anyone who's considering, it is really the key is just invest amount that you are willing to lose, right? So for some people, 
$3,000 is just like buying a handbag, right? Or going for a nice holiday. So you can just, you can forego that nice handbag or you can forego that nice holiday. That's cool. But for some people, maybe the amount is just $100, which is still very, very cool, right? Because from $3,000 to $1 million, that's like 1,000 times, right? So yes, this is again, not financial advice, but my opinion, just want to really highlight that there are a lot of rich people now Mark Faber is one, and then the other guy is a UK book author and historian as well. Naya Ferguson, he also, I think it was last week, he also has changed his opinion about Bitcoin and he is now pro Bitcoin as well, right? Now we just need to wait for people like Warren Buffett, but though he has a lot of investments into banks, right, which are very much threatened by crypto. So it's, I think it's very hard for him to admit openly that he liked crypto. Now, this is a big contrast, right, with what you hear that the um, baser who is the, you know, Bank, central banks of central banks saying that crypto will threaten financial stability that could very well mean that they could ban crypto but really i think it is just a fear tactic right so please see what rich people are doing instead of what they are saying right and now you know that mark faber and of course korean you know very famous movie star are going into crypto space so what do you need to do you think for yourself right i will just leave it here for you to digest this news thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy thank you hope you have a great day and uh, yeah live with passion thank you so much for watching